One of the main logistical problems for Alexander is that everyone in his army needs to be fed and regularly gain access to water. Not only does he have all these people, but he had up to 10,000 animals, both pack animals and cavalry, with the expedition. Now each person requires about 1.3 kilos of food a day and at least 2 kilos of water. That means for an army of around 40,000 people, you need about 84.5 tons of food every day and 130,000 litres of water every day just for the people. If you include 10,000 animals as well, there's another 90 tons of food and fodder and another 300,000 litres of water that is needed every day. And it's this logistical requirement that often dictates the pace of Alexander's campaign. You have to move from food and water to food and water. You can't rely on carrying it yourself. The problem with the logistics of living off the land is that you cannot always guarantee that the terrain ahead of your line of march will support the army. A prime example of this is Alexander's march through the Gedrosian Desert when he was returning from India and heading back towards Babylon. In this instance, he had his fleet under Nearchus parallel the army as it advanced across the desert. It was Alexander's hope that the fleet would be able to resupply the army and bring in food from further afield. Unfortunately, the two sides didn't coordinate and communication was lost. This led to many of Alexander's men dying of hunger, thirst and heat in the desert on their return to Babylon. 